Hello everyone, my name is Jumatin. Here I am in a game in ranked in uh, Diamond Division against Fizz. Now, I think I fixed my microphone problems. Wait just a minute and let me see if this works. Now, if it sounds different, it's good. It's good uh, compared to the other videos I made. Now, we are in a game against a pretty good team comp and minus the Pantheon. Minus the Pantheon, this doesn't really fit to their team comp. They do have late game through Vayne and Soraka, they do have a Fizz, which is uh, an assassin that can, can actually do much and can carry which if he focuses enough and <laughs> he's a good player. Uh, ardent nerves. Okay, I need to check on these nerves. Now, uh, why did I pick Ignite? Well, Frey level 6, you can be extremely aggressive against Fizz if you know what you're doing now. I don't say I necessarily know what I do, it, what I do but uh, I'm going to try to be extremely aggressive early on and then just dodge his fish. Also, I need to go Morello against uh, that was really just questionable. He didn't even flash that. He used his teleport and Pantheon got first blood. Okay, let's see that. Let's see that happened. Okay. Just don't try to drag as much minion minions as you need. It's not healthy. And try just to hit your Q. If you can, you won't be able to come here by these minions. Stop hitting me. Okay, that was more than enough poke there. God damn it. I don't know. What I've done there, okay. Perhaps I should focus more on on not missing so many CS. Oh, I'm done. This is the acceptable range. Now I know Pantheon is bot side. So I've put the warp there and I have to focus around that zone. Okay, let's make him use as much CS as possible. Okay. I think he beats you. I don't know. I'm seeing Pantheon. Oh, actually, never mind. Yeah, if he used double deal there, he would have died probably. Anton is quite strong early on. Now, I'm not sure if I focused the right target. I mean, I think I did. Well, he lost his trade. GG. Or not. He escaped. He didn't just teleport here. That's actually nice. Because I'm not using a shit ton of see now. Great, 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 great. Got him here. I need to hit all the CS. Doing some out farming right here. Great game. Eight CS lead. I need to check that trick. 
because I think this phantom can and wants to do. Top hundred percent figure. Okay. How does that sound? Now I really need to pay attention when he makes six. Especially with a Ramus gang, it's deadly. With a Pantheon gang, holy shit. And I'm pretty sure he's not far away from it. I'm going magic resist in a second. Oh, nice. So the gank did hit. Now he's level 6. I actually might get dived. Because Pantheon can tank up to 3 hits. 2 3 hits depends on if he has passives and jumps in tower. Then he could combo it and two hits he can block 100%. That's more than what I don't, don't know if he has time yet. We just have to play extremely, extremely defensive right here. Not chasing, he missed all. Kinda predicted it. I mean, he stood in my queue and then he just came forward. That was an aggressive act. We just have to see his movement. And against fish, that's, that's the trick. You just have to dodge the fucking fish. I want to finish. Uh, oh my god, okay, that was a nice flash map. Looks good. I want to go bot actually. I want to finish the book. Sorry that I'm not showing you this. Oh, okay. And I want to go for this. Anthony stop. I know he won't come. Fizz has cooldown on teleport. Now, this is a perfect place. Ah, uh, they're recording. This was a perfect place to actually gank. I didn't expect Fizz to try to roam bot, but we got, we got a huge lead out of that, and I failed more Cs. We could do that. Great. Great fucking play. <sighs> I truly love a good Ramos though. I like to duel with this guy simply. And yeah. Wait, the ult. Can I survive an ult? No, I can't. That's why I'm baiting his ultimate right here. Backing off. Or bot lane. Quick combo. Okay. okay. 
page. Put another here in that once. We're in the perfect key day. And another kill here. Every time he's tried to do something Ramos was hearing, he knows we can abuse that. Now, you can try to tell your jungler that. Usually in lower elos, junglers don't know you can abuse that so easily, but in Diamond 1, Diamond 3, Diamond 4, it's easily abusable if you know your jungler and your, no, and your mid laner. I, he enables all my W's with this uh, combo, so he's extremely useful to me and to the team, obviously. This is 0-0-5, and I got a lot, lot of gold out of this. And now I can run bot again. It's a constant thing, it's, it never stops if you play it right. Yeah, but which is this? <laughs> I'm bot lane again for the gazillionth time, <laughs> and <laughs> they hate me. This is free because we do have a vision orb. I mean, it's predictable that we're going to do this trick, but not as much as they think. Now, I'd go mid now, but this is the point where I actually can die because. I do not have any mana, I can't use my spells to damage, and he could kill me before I could react and do anything. I could flash his fish, but why waste flash when I could just... That's my bad. Sorry. Same score though. And after I get this for CS, if I do exactly the same farm, apparently I won't. So I get more. I need to play around the tower and to protect it. I also need. I also need to take this thing off. And the fact that I do have a dual partner that allows me to take every blue buff, it's amazing. Now let me just tell you why. First, the mana regen, second, the gold. It's 100 gold for this buff. 100! 100! Like, uh, before, and after you take your full lane of gold and then you just go there, bam, 100. It's a lot for this, for a simple buff. It was way less in the past. Hello, we're the squad. <laughs> it's kind of pissed, I can tell. Well, I can't do more than this. Actually, I could ult. Somewhere along this idea. <laughs> and he flashed with the Pantheon. Perfect bubble from Nano. My 
Fast Flash. Skip. Now, in the Fizz matchup, you can try to rush Banshees because the shield is not necessarily the best, but the magic resist does it. You won't die that fast with that much, but that much magic resist. I have a hundred. It's fifty one reduced, reduced magic damage, and he won't have any magic pen for some time besides the rules and masteries. And that's exactly what you need early on against Diana Fizz, Akali, whatever other mages. I think even LeBlanc could work in this category. And Avery, maybe if you think um, that it kills you. Whatever you think has a ton of burst and kills you. And it kills you. Can't even talk about me, Jesus. Barrett. I think I have to be careful. Right into the Ramus Q. Joe was also nearby. This with a good bot lane, you can just abuse a shit ton of stuff. I am going to get a little bit damaged here. Is my ammo disconnected? Oh my fucking god, the damage. All of this and then <sighs> not, not a problem though. We have a huge advantage and which is overhead. On this point we can't lose if we focus. If we don't this stupid shit we won't lose. And this guy killed so a couple of I want boots do I want always ask yourself what boots do you want because you won't pick so all the time. Unless they spam magic resist. I mean, I find sometimes boots of lucidity more useful because it maxes out the cooldown reduction and also helps with your flash and ignite. But I'm going to go for this item this time. Now I'm thinking Leandri or Rabidons when you have these two first items because Rabidons enhances your damage way more than Leandris against squishies and against people, persons that are not tanks, they are not stacking magic resist. Besides, this item and Chaos uh, Megatron Cloak, they don't have any magic resist. So I would think that it's more Rabinus more useful. Let's take this and stop let's stop going in QBs. Oh, Let me check for enhancements. Very switch when I need him most. I think he can go around and sneaky sneaky some kills. We should go as five because if we try and kill like that, we might just lose. Baron, go. I can't afford to get the late late game. Is she dying? No, he's not. He has potion. Just wait a second, let me get this. Vayne is quite strong at this point. Uh, that won't stop us, really. 
I don't like the fact that Chogat gets a kill every time. Oh, well, that's a wasted flash, that's a dead Nami. That's a dead Twitch actually. Stop, guys, stop. Good troll. I think they can actually go for the Baron here if no, they can't. Tactical. One good play, doubtful. She's dead. Yeah, get Baron. What did I just see? Twitch pass through that. Look at that. Look at that damage and ultimate from Chop. He did 70%. 70% of Nami's HP. 70. Not, not, not even half more than that. Lot of gold here. Careful, Nami. Run, please. I need to save this tower. No. Going late game with Lia is always, always a problem. You can check it in our chat on that GG, it says that past minute 35, the Lia games are usually lost. I mean, the win rate drops, not necessarily most of the game lost, but you got my point. This suicide did I see. And that's because the Lia late game is not as efficient as other champions due to combos not dealing that much damage and mm, you need to just catch people which is exponentially more harder than just roaming catching and roaming is two different things two different big things and I won't go on the other way towards this tower yeah we put this it's much more harder to catch than to roam bot lane mid lane and six and try to get the kill late game Team groups, teams are just stacked on top of each other, and Tlia doesn't really do much. Can you stop from that thing? I don't believe it's. I deal a lot of damage now. I won't deal that much later on, but. Go, go, and careful. Where are you going? After it, it's Cloud. What I find it amazing with Ramos is that even Cloud Drakes are useful because it just increases his movement speed around the map, which is <laughs> for Ramos all you need because you only have to, all you have to do is to get a Q on their um, Q and Thought on their ADC or carry, whichever that is. Now let's just put, put them all around the map. So notice where we can get the kill. There we go. All the fat fees usually does the job. Sraka is a great counter for Ramos for that silence and usually it can solve the issue.
another kill here. Chicken flesh. Anyway, whew, that was harder than I thought. I thought we were going to lose at one point because I lost so many games in which I had the advantage and then just boop, went away and lost. <laughs> because still, yeah, play game fault. So I have these quirks, these things around me that when, when we lose, when I, I fall behind and I see my teammates doing mistakes that they shouldn't do, it kind of triggers me because I know I won't be able to do as much as I'm doing right now. And I know you don't, I know you know, you all know, you to the amaze, you know that. So, yeah. That was about it, this game. I really hope you enjoyed it. I had a great team. And tell me what you thought about this game. If I can help you, I'm willing to answer anything here or, or on Reddit to the Amains. I've made, made a post there specifically. Just look for the pinpointed post. And yeah, I guess see you next time and see you climbing the tree. Yeah, goodbye, guys.